and gentlemen, here we go, Ian Harway. Thank you. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about small business. Why is this important? We innovate. We give you great coffee. We give you great beer. And we are changing the face of Denver and the whole United States and elsewhere. Why am I good at this? Because this is what I do for a living. Uh, and what I'm going to talk to you about is not being the next Silicon Valley. They already are it. There's no need for us to repeat it. What we should be is Denver. Because we are... Denver is awesome. So I think we should embrace all the things that are great about Denver. Skiing, beer, coffee, 300 days of sunshine. It's all good. So in fixing small business in Denver and the area, we have to figure out what the hell's wrong. And it's a mess. Trying to start a business is a pain. Who do you go to for help? Where do you go? What do you do? Who do you talk to? So we need to simplify the process. So I'm thinking that we come up with a nice flow chart, organize the resources. You go online, you say, I'm going to start a business. This is where I need help. Or I run a business. This is where I need help. And you just kind of go through, boom, boom, boom. And resources there. Also, we need to figure out health insurance for small businesses. Because it's fucking scary running your own business without health insurance. I've been to Denver Health. It was great, but I don't ever want to do it again. <laughs> so I'm saying, well, let's figure out how can we organize co-ops for small business or through the city and make sure that I'm a sole proprietor, I can get health insurance, and it doesn't cost me $300 a month. <clears throat> also, I have no retirement. Well, I do, it's my wife. <laughs> so I'm thinking that probably we should resolve this and if I put in a dollar, maybe somebody matches it like the city or the state and we figure out a way to add more money. So this is what I'm thinking. I had a dollar, they had 50 cents, up to a certain point, I have retirement and I'm not relying upon my wife. I'm sure she appreciates this. Uh, next thing is, let's help with the first employee for a sole proprietor. Hiring that first employee can make you, it can break you, so it's really important to make sure you get the right one. Problem is, it's not cheap, you gotta figure out where to get the money. So I'm saying let's give a tax break for some portion of that first employee. So when you hire somebody, you get some money back for hiring them. If that's an admin, if that's marketing, if that's accounting, Whatever you can't do well, let's hire somebody that can do it better. Um, another problem, there are so many organizations just in Denver alone, and they're all over here, and they're over here, and they're over here, but they're not talking to each other, and they're all doing different things, and they're not necessarily doing it well. So I'm thinking, let's get people that actually are in the industry or out in the street, and they're walking down South Broadway saying, hey, you run a business, let's help make your business better. Or, hey, you want to start a new tech startup? Let's figure out what you need. This is, leads me to my next thing. Galvanize, great local housing of startups. Let's follow this model. Let's take it another step further. They're housing small businesses. Let's take those small businesses and make them strong, bigger businesses. And then let's retain them. Let's not let them go to Silicon Valley. Let's keep them here. Let's pay them well. Let's let them hire more employees and let's get those businesses even bigger than they already are. Okay, next thing. If I'm a small business and I need help and I can't pay for that first employee, I don't wanna pay for a marketing or an accounting person because I can't necessarily pay them because it could be too expensive for me. Where can I go and get cheap help? Universities, CU Denver, Johnson & Wales, DU, they all have MBA programs, just even bachelor's programs for business. Let's have these people get experience and then the business to get cheap help. And then lastly, let's expand on what we're good at. Right now there's a thing in Denver called the Real Estate Challenge. DU and CU Denver, they go out, they develop or they theorize a piece of property, what it could look like and how it could be better developed. Well, I think we should take that even further and say, hey, let's get you all starting businesses, let's figure out what works, what doesn't work, you get a learning curve and it helps you gain experience and in the future start businesses and we can help do that.
too. I'm Ian Harwick. It's my website. I'm on Twitter. 